hello 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 and welcome to my channel so today we'll be doing something different so as you can see CBSC and CISCE have released the class 12th board exam marking scheme now I won't lie it's not a bit it's very complex now in terms of complexity I mean to be honest it's tough and here we can see that uh, I do not know who this Ritika Chopra is and class 11 10 component 30 percent based on th base 3 performing subjects class 11 component class 12 and pre boards practicals it's a mumbo jumbo it's a bloody mess and as such we'll be going through the document published by the supreme court and will and I'll try my best to make you understand and the link of the document will be in the description so without ado let's begin so here we are as you can see in the supreme court of india civil original jurisdiction writ petition whatever was mamta sharma advocate versus central board of secondary education and others so yeah yeah this we don't need these things this is Saniyam Bharadwaj our exam controller and all such things this is his address so I mean please do not send anything to him uh, he has written I as per take decision to cancel class 12 examination CBS issued notification number that is dated 1 6 2021 and this is the attorney general of india jk das leading senior counsel and all these things now this is number of students who completed exams of all five subjects 4.36 lakhs students whose exam of one subject was left is 5.64 lakhs Two subjects left is 2,162. Three subjects left is 21,000. Four subjects left is 420. This is the assessment scheme proposed by CBS and approved by the Honorable Court and registered 14.50. No examination. The result this is the marking scheme which will go there. We do not require these things. Ah, yes this now this is let us suppose let me choose the thickness of the pen and let me choose the color uh, let's go with purple okay, I mean, yeah, sure. so suppose mm, there are many subjects whose written are conducted for 80 marks and there are many whose written are conducted for 70 marks let me erase this and let's come back to the drawing so out of 80 but before you do that hopefully all of you have your class 10 exam results and there the best three subjects take them do the average whatever the average comes and now let that average marks be x okay now out of 80 it's a bit tough for me to do here but i'm trying okay. out of 80 is 30 percent of 80 is you can see here 24 marks so this 24 marks now what you will do is this x is your average marks received in class 10 for subjects of whom written is 80 do one thing multiply this x with 24 and whatever the marks comes divide it by 100 that is your marks quota of class 10 done so just to be clear let us suppose someone is average is 90 90 let's suppose 9 yeah let's set 90 so 90 
into twenty. So ninety into twenty four divided by hundred. Zero zero cut uh, and twenty four into nine is two hundred and sixteen divided by ten. That is twenty one point six. So that is what you get for your class ten quota. And eleven quota is same thing. Let us say you get ninety marks in your hand. Now this is class ten done. So. is class 10 marks done so now let us come to class 11 marks here the sub it will be individually no average nothing let us say in annual let us say everyone gets less marks in class 11 so let us say in annual you get total 80 out of 100 theory practical combined that's a different it's done so 80 now It's out of twenty four, so eighty eighty by hundred into twenty four. Now twenty four into let us cut a zero. So twenty four into eight is one hundred and ninety two divided by ten. So that is nineteen point two. Now twenty one point six nineteen point two done. So a ten and eleven marks is done. And now we shall come back. Let me rub this. to class 12 marks class 12 theory marks so let us assume you in your pre board or intern half failure internal whatever let us assume you get 90 again you get 90 in the written portion sorry not i mean yeah suppose say in the half yearly You have got ninety theory and practical and whatever combines your school must have given you marks. Let us take ninety. So we'll divide this by hundred. This is ninety percentage, and we'll multiply it with thirty-two since that is the number of written marks allotted for class twelve theory portion. So we'll do this. This. This is twenty eight point eight. Two eighty eight by ten is twenty eight point eight. And now, what you'll do is this: if your return is out of eighty, your practical is out of twenty. Let's say you get twenty out of twenty. So, what you'll do is add twenty, and then what do you get? Ah, forty eight point eight. So, we'll add this three. Add Add this number, add this number, and add this number. So we get forty-eight plus forty is eighty-eight. Eighty-eight point eight plus eighty-eight plus point eight. That is eighty-nine point six. So, however. Since this is CBSC and I definitely do not trust the board, do not round it up. Keep it like this. So this is done for subjects which have, which whose written are out of eighty and whose practicals are out of twenty. Now, let's come to subjects. This is, by the way, your marks out of hundred. So this is your marks. This will be your marks for a subject in whose written is out of. 80 and practical is out of 20 now let's
come to this Marx whose theory is 670 so let us assume in your class 10 so same average the average will remain same so how much did I take 90 average is I took it 90 so let's take it as 90 again now for class 10 the marks allotted is 30 percent of 70 that is 21 so 90 divided by 100 into 21 this 21 into 90 divided by 100 if we do this we get 189 that is 18.9 done this is out of 21 and this is your class 10 marks the done now same thing for class to uh, 11 out of 21 let us again assume you get 80 so everyone gets less marks in class 11 that is a different issue 18 into 100 into 21 that is 168 divided by 100 that is now sorry divided by 10 that is 16.8 done so let me rub this and write the marks how much did we get 18.9 and 18.9 and 16.8 let me write this done now let us come to class 12 theory portion or the internal marks of your half yearly or pre-board marks let us assume you get 19 pre boards so 90 divided by 100 into 28 since we will have to now calculate 90 percentage of 20 and basic unitary method sums so if we do that we get 252 divided by 10 so we will cut a 0 that is 25.2 and now the practical if your return is on 70 your practical is on 30 let's assume you get 30 so add 25.2 and add 30 how much do you get 55.2 add this number add this number add this number how much do you get 90.9 if my memory serves me correct yeah so this is your marks in case uh, the exam is out of 70 and now I do not think and now I haven't heard anyone going through this 70 and all such since I presume every school has most of the schools have taken online exams in on in the month in for your half yearly and for pre boards so this is the total pattern let me show you it once again x is your average marks for three class 10 best subjects x multiply it with 24 divided by 100 in case total marks is how much 80 plus 11 whatever you get let's assume it to be y into 24 divided by 100 plus your class 12 theory marks are internal let's assume it to be z into 32 by 100 and on top of all this add your practical marks you get your total if it's out of 70 
uh, and you get x in both class 10 average x into 21 by 100 plus let's say you get y y into 21 in class 11 let's you get y y into 21 by 100 plus z into 28 by 100 plus your practical marks out of 30 which the schools must have taken when there was a bit of relaxation in the lockdown in case the practicals are not taken the schools have been directed to take it and for result declaration CBSC has promised that the results will be declared by 31st of July now let's come I say that based on this policy a result committee under the principal of the school will be formed in each schools comprising of two senior most PGTs from the same school and two PGT from neighboring schools that is two teachers from your school and two teachers from neighboring school will be said and CBSC will also provide help desks and all but I do not think that works and finally I say that in case where any candidate is not satisfied with the assessment done based on the policies such uh, candidates will be given an opportunity to appear in exams to be conducted by the boards now it's not finished when conditions are conducive for holding the examination as per this policy uh, marks code in letter examination will be considered as final so if you get less in letter examination that will be your marks i say that in case if there is any issue with any school in implementation of the policy matter will be referred to a committee to decide the same and also since this document is legal or not the stamp of the C Central Board is Sanyam Bharadwaj stamp, his signature and verification notice has been done. So in case any of you have any further problems, you may write down in the comment section. I'll be seeing to that and trying to help you. Also, we are trying to reach 100 subscribers as my first target. So like share and subscribe and do share these videos to all your other friends so that they may get help in calculating their marks and for those for tabulation class 12 marks based on unit test slash midterm slash pre-board this is for the theory class 11 based on theory component and uh, theory practical it's the same thing and class 10 is marked based on average theory component of best three performing subjects out of main five subjects and this marks of practical internal will be as uploaded and total marks awarded and this is the most important point let me change the color the total marks awarded and this so let's say in the past your school have produced students with 90% top and on an average 85% the school cannot suddenly produce an average of 95% in that case the marks will be reviewed by the boards. And this is where the school comes into play if a school if your school wants that the only one pre-board they'll take only pre-board if they want equal weightage to pre-board and midterm they may do that if they want that best is taken on that if you have performed good in pre-board or if you have performed good in uh, midterm in another subject they may do that here in final theory and all such things this is this is very complex and now the calculation I told you is the one that is to be done now the school might decide to give you relaxation for your class 11 marks and all such things and attendance and everything is so that your marks does not drop or rise drastically however that is the marks while the final while your final marks might differ 
it will not differ by more than two percent suppose you get 90 percent after my calculation so your final marks will range between 88 to 90 to 93 percent and that's it and before that moderate oh so many of us have whose results have not been good in the past have employed an honest means to rack up the mark thereby increasing the school average and in th for those students the school will moderate the mark that is the school will decrease your marks and the historical performance that is for the last three years your school average will be taken and that average will be taken to moderate the average of this year and all such things and all such nonsense so there's that if you are new please do like share comment and subscribe and also do share it will be very helpful for me in the future to make any videos however for now jai hind jai bharat that's it enjoy